I've noticed that there is a fear about blogging. My intention for including a blog in this course is not to make you afraid. I want us to deal with the fear so that we can all blog. Let's destroy any fears that we are having because blogging is not meant to be difficult. It's not meant to confuse you and it's not meant to make your life difficult. There is a lot in the news currently and in the past that is dealing with the issues that we are being exposed to in this course. I know most of us are taking this to fulfill our science requirement credit. But what I want you to understand is that the information in this course is not only relevant, it impacts our lives in a very significant way. Without the oceans, we are not going to be having any oxygen to breathe. Most of our food comes from the oceans. And that is why it's important for you to understand how the oceans are related to us. Most of the transportation of goods around the globe is done in the oceans. Back to the block. What are my expectations? You are expected to select any topic, any issue that you like that is related to oceanography. It can be an oil spill, it can be pollution, for example, the Pacific garbage patch. You can blog about it. Where is it found? What causes it? What are the dangers associated with it? I decided that we should do a blog format because it's going to allow us to include pictures and videos, whatever we think is going to bring our contribution to life. We should do that. Look into the news. And if you find any articles, news reports that have anything to do with the ocean, you should write about those. You have four opportunities to mesmerize your classmates on how interrelated we are to the oceans. I want everything that is going to be blocked about to be centered around how we are connected to the oceans and what we are doing to the oceans and what the oceans are doing to us. If after watching this video, you still don't know what to do, email me, call me, or text me. I want this to be a fun exercise, but you need to put some thought into it. Don't overthink it, just write it. To be able to look at other people's blogs, you have to post your own first. And I just expect you to click on the submit uh, button that you have on the exercise. It's going to let you to start blogging. You don't need any, you know, you don't need to be technologically astute to do that. You just need to click submit and it's going to, uh, a window will open up for you to, to blog inside. If you don't want to type directly, type your blog in the Word document, copy and paste it inside uh, for us. After you submit your blog, you're going to be given an opportunity to respond, make a comment on at least one other blog by another student. We are doing the, the respond. Let your comments be centered around what you learned and how the person can improve on their next blog. And you should also ask questions so we can have a conversation. 
part of this exercise is just to make sure that we are learning from each other. Thank you. Keep those questions coming. Let's go blog.